Let's, so now we are going to do a live demo of the auto tracking of a. Now, we didn't really rehearse this, so I don't know who's going to do the auto tracking demo or what camera it's going to be. I can say about this Okay. All right. So Mike is going to. Mike, I'm going to give Mike a second on this one. Mike is going to uh, figure out which camera he's going to do this on. Now, a lot of our auto tracking demos we've used in IR remote control. But today it's okay. But today we're gonna we're gonna let Mike do it over the network the way it was meant to be done. Um, and I will show, by the way, uh, I will show on my computer the auto tracking setup that we have on the web interface. Um, I mean, we could use this if you wanted. If you want to do it that way, we could. Um, it's, it's turn it on. Okay, turn it on. It's on. Oh, it's on. It's tracking you, Tess. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> so the cool thing about the auto tracking on these cameras is that it does have the uh, presenter lock. So it doesn't matter if I'm in the screen. It's only going to lock into a single person. It will automatically zoom in to really frame it nicely. And uh, it's very smooth. I doubt Tess would be able to lose the track, the lock, the lock that is on you. <laughs> um, it's very smooth. It doesn't overly, you know, jerky. It, it's very smooth. And um, even me trying to distract it, I can't. Demo. It's not going to happen. Locked on Tess. <laughs> and there's all the tracking boom we did it and Mike I don't know if you want to show my screen real quick uh, my screen capture but I'll show how Mike did this so he, in the uh, software here um, you you can turn the auto tracking on with the IR remote but if you go to uh, this area there is a complete auto tracking section of the web interface which is how Mike ended up turning on auto tracking and you can uh, select a target, um, choose your zoom mode. And so when I hit apply, boom, it's going to start auto tracking. Now it's going to go to preset zero by default. And we're building in some uh, new functionality in the updated firmware to allow it to have a live, a live position. But for now, if I wanted it to track someone, what I would do and this is ideal for like education or something. So if I wanted to track tests, I would hit preset zero and set that. Does that work? Zero, uh, let's see, I'm gonna type in zero and set. Now when I hit auto track, and you can see the little box goes over tests and it goes, okay. They can't see it because. Oh, because it. I'm screwing this up, okay. <laughs> There's a little box on test there. That is uh, showing I'm selected. that. selected. All it's right, me. boom. We're going to select Hi. test and I'm auto the tracker. It's me. Now hit off, apply, and stop tracking. So that's all the auto tracking built into the camera. It does not require any additional software, uh, which again, from a scalability perspective, if you need auto tracking in your classrooms, this is a scalable solution because it is built in.